Hi guys, this is Kathy at Fabric Bash. Today we're gonna to talk about burying threads. It's part of the processes with long arms, especially with custom quilting. The best way to practice burying threads is to do it a lot in one quilt. That is uh, the best way to do. You learn fast, you learn some great techniques. I know some of us have some issues with arthritis and having to always tie with our hands. So I'm gonna show you um, one of the great techniques we've learned from nurses. Nurses are amazing. So let me show you our tools that we're gonna to be using. All right, we have our needle here. This is a special kind of needle here. This is a, can't quite see it here because it's so, so far away, but it's a self threading needle. So I can just bring my threads in here on the top. I'll show you that in a minute. I have my handy dandy pair of scissors and then I have hemostats. Best nursing tool ever, I'm sure they're gonna tell you. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start. I'm gonna have this piece of paper here because it's kind of hard to see that thread up against the fabric right there. So you guys can see. I have my threads pulled. I'm gonna take my hemostats here. I always have my point curving down away from me. So I bring in my hemostat right up against both the threads right here. I come under, I'm gonna bring this around. I'm gonna grab those two threads and I'm gonna hold onto the knot right here, the two threads right here, and I'm just gonna pull that thread through. So now you have a knot and my threads. Next, I'm gonna grab and I'm gonna use my needle as a tool as well. So I'm gonna put my needle through that knot, go all the way to my last, where my last stitch, where the thread comes out, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna pull and get that knot all the way down there. All right, so we have a knot. Now I'm gonna take this self-threading needle here. We are going to put both threads through there. And I run it along here just a little bit to make sure I have both my threads in there. Now I'm gonna to come to this last point here where my thread came out of the fabric right here. We do not wanna bury, if we have dark threads, I don't wanna bury threads underneath a light color. So try to keep your dark threads underneath your dark colors here. I'm gonna go in where that last thread came out and I'm just make sure I'm lifting up just the top. And then I'm gonna poke my needle through. And sometimes, if I need to, can actually use my hemostats again to help me pull my needle all the way through. Then I'm going to give a tug to make sure that that knot that I made went all the way through and make sure I have all of my threads all the way through the th fabric there. Now I'm gonna put a little pressure on here and I'm just gonna cut that off and make sure that that is down in there. 